We now return to the Unbreakable Zoe Castillo. So we continue our playthrough of Dreamfall, the longest journey on Underplayed. Out here, picked up a pebble. So we've just been transported to this magical domain full of magic and wonder and oh, oh, mean ogre people, okay. Oh, no, 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 block it, block it. So, uh, Dreamfall is a sequel to The Longest Journey, which was originally a point-and-click adventure game. Um, and they've tried to expand the, the game outside of its original genres um, to encompass a bit more elements. Uh, you know, not just the, the stealth elements, but also the 3D exploration and, uh, as you've noticed, uh, even combat elements. Um, those are not particularly well polished. Um, that's not really, uh, you know, the, something that, that's super compelling about the game. Um, you know, we're not, we're not seeing combat on the level of something like God of War. Definitely not, you know. Um, uh, it's pretty simplistic, uh, a little bit obtuse in some ways. Um, a glowing egg. That's interesting. Seems to act as a torch. It's a pretty river here. So yeah, I'm I'm not gonna like give huge points off because I appreciate that the developers were trying to do something new and different. Um, and I, I, I like to encourage innovation as much as possible rather than just you know reproducing old formulas. Um, but it is worth noting that, that sometimes you know you try something new and it just doesn't work. Um, or it could have been done better. I, I feel like the combat could have been done better here. Um, the puzzles and exploration elements are, are great fine. I quite enjoy those. But uh, what do we have here? I would guess that wheel is used to control the machine. A machine, you say? Let's try turning it. Ah, I must have to put the egg on top of this, right? It looks like a machine with a big wheel and a socket on top. I wonder what it does, and if it still works. Yeah, let's try sticking the egg in there. These are Duracell eggs. They got all the power we need. interesting to know that the technology in this setting is at the same time um, somewhat primitive and somewhat advanced. You know, we've got these these like glowing crystal uh, power sources um, you know, that would look like something we'd find on Star Trek, you know. Uh, but we're using them in order to power water mills, you know. Uh, it was a pretty basic technology, at least as far as human civilization goes. So it's very curious, very curious indeed. Um, Mistaken. The water wheel is connected to more gears. It could be what powered the city back when it was inhabited. There's a wooden platform up there. Ah, perhaps we can ride the platform, huh? Go for it, Zoe. Work the biceps, girl. Alright. Oh, you have it now. Of course, a rope. Alright. It collapsed right under my feet. I'm so lucky to be standing here. 
So we have to go back down and use that rope to climb up. Is, is that what I'm, what I'm seeing? Presumably so. There's an option to climb down here. Oh, I can just jump. Okay, that works too. A little bit of Tomb Raider action there. What a ridiculously massive cave. I, it, it's so odd. To, and this is a very common setting in a lot of video games uh, to have these huge cavernous spaces with uh, cave ceilings. They're just ridiculously large, you know? Um, these don't exist in real life. <laughs> and that's one of the things that's, uh, that's great about, uh, about video games, the fact that we can explore these um, impossible spaces. Even, like, not always in a, a super fantastic setting, you know? We're not in space here. We're not, uh, you know, on planet Xylon or anything. We are... Uh, in a in a relatively earthy environment, but it's a it's a earth like environment that we could never uh, never explore otherwise. All right, now I don't see anything because it's too dark. Um, uh, seems to be a cave, getting in nowhere here. So what, what am I looking at? Seem to be a way that I can jump to the other side here. Oh, wrong button. But we will go ahead and save while we're here. And there we go. Girl again. Viral marketing. Blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, interesting. Our uh, we no longer have access to our cell phone. We're actually using an old style pen and paper journal now. All right. Top of the water wheel. Got it. Interesting. Up this way a little further. Around our surroundings. Oh, perhaps I can climb that vine, huh? No? Doesn't seem to be anything I can interact with over here. I'm curious if I'm missing something. Alright, there's nothing. Nothing around that I can see. Perhaps I should try using my, uh, my little vision piercer. Two, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. I do have a pebble. Which could be useful for something. I'm not sure what. Perhaps I have to shut down the... Wait, wait. What is this gear that I see over here? This would be a way that we can get up and down without using the water wheel. So let's remove this, uh, this egg, shall we? Or in fact, let's. Uh, it's definitely mechanical. It's definitely mechanical. Yep, 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 I gotcha. Let's try uh, putting the egg back up there and shutting the thing down first, huh? It's definitely mechanical. There we go. Egg's now in place. I would guess that we. I can no longer control the machine with the wheel. I can only look at it. Okay. Try taking the egg. Now let's try replacing it with a pebble, huh? Nope, I can't do anything with pebble. Okay. mechanical. Right, right, right. So I'm confused. I feel like I need to stop the water from flowing up top. When I put the egg in, I lose the ability to turn the crank. Let's just take the egg out. We'll take this back upstairs. If 
speed I can. I might have to go up the old fashioned way. Seems a bit dangerous. But Zoe is a strong athletic girl, so she can do it. Whee! Also, I'm very surprised that she can perform these acrobatic feats of upper body strength uh, while holding a glowing egg. At the very least, we'll be able to see what's at the back of the cave now. I don't see anything new that I can interact with. There's a glowing crystal here. Oh, looky there! We have glowing symbols that the egg reveals. How cool is that? That's so neat. Those glowing symbols look like they're etched right into the rock. Okay, do we think? No. Pretty much just playing uh, Fantasia up here with, uh, with no real context for what, what these symbols are doing. I think each of these symbols play a musical note. Yep. Maybe I'm supposed to play a sequence of notes, like a melody. But what melody? Maybe I'm supposed to play a sequence of notes, like right. a melody. But what melody? I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. I have had no indication of what melody I need to be playing. Um, it is playing it back to me. I'm just kind of playing around at this point. It's kind of... I, I don't know. There must be some kind of clue here that I'm missing. Right, I'm at the top of the water wheel. Back here, we got three notes that we can use. So there's a sequence of four notes. Must be some kind of clue that I missed. Perhaps back downstairs. What do these symbols mean? Like I, I can't really make anything out of them. I see what looks like a root and a nose and a chameleon tail. No 
indication, though, of uh, what is, is the right melody. Must be some other clue around here somewhere. Must have to do with those symbols as well. Surprised that we have to do so much backtracking here. Like, it's pretty time consuming, too, going up and down this big long ladder. <laughs> 